Thank you and good afternoon, everybody. The most important knowledge in the field of patient safety is knowledge that helps us prevent harm to patients. But it's one thing to have that knowledge and another thing to act on it. Six years ago in Geneva, the World Health Assembly passed a resolution asking its 193 member states to take actions to improve the safety of health care. At that time, much less was known uh, about the size and scope of safety problems in health care. A body of research evidence stretches back 25 years pointing to unsafe care as a significant source of patient morbidity and mortality. But this at the time had received relatively little attention in the minds of policymakers. Reports such as To Err is Human, the Institute of Medicine report here in the United States, and an organization with a memory in my own country made patient safety much more visible on the policy agenda for many countries. And at the same time, there was a growing public debate and debate amongst patients and consumers of healthcare about the whole question of safety. The Alliance, as Dr. Rose has mentioned, uh, launched its inaugural program here in Washington, D.C. in October 2004. And that launch gave, gave life to the original World Health Assembly resolution. The Alliance brings together a broad range of partners, ministries of health, safety experts, national agencies on patient safety, healthcare professional bodies, and consumers. And the aim overall is to achieve improvements in patient safety internationally. Since its launch four years ago, expectations of the momentum and impetus that the WHO could foster have been exceeded many times over. Countries all over the world, rich and poor, are acting on patient safety. The work of the Alliance involves an ever-growing range of partnerships. The forward program is bigger than ever, ranging from developing a global classification system through, report research, uh, through support for international research to a growing network of international patient champions. When we launched our first challenge in 2005, we chose a topic that had resonance and importance right across the world, in the developed world and the developing world. We picked healthcare associated infection, and our first challenge, uh, Clean Care is Safer Care, was launched and still goes on today. It captured the ambition of many. Not only has it catalyzed action in healthcare systems around the world, but three years after its launch, 90 countries at health minister level have publicly pledged to address the problem of healthcare infection in their countries, and that covers a total of 80% of the world's population. So we look to this new challenge today to achieve similar uh, commitment and momentum. And early signs are that progress has already been made and gives great hope for the um, initiative overall. The stakes could hardly be higher. You'll hear from Dr. Gwandi and other speakers today that surgical injuries and deaths are a significant problem. Every country has its variant on the safe surgery challenge. Poorly equipped health workers, inadequately trained staff in some parts of the world, badly maintained equipment, poor safety design, weak teamwork, and inadequate enforcement of standards. All are contributing factors to unsafe surgery when it occurs. And many of the victims live in developing countries, although no country can claim to have fully come to grips with the problem. So I pay tribute today as chairman of the Alliance to Dr. Atul Gwandi and the many clinicians, patients, and healthcare workers who've worked so hard to make this global challenge a reality. And I call on policymakers, professional societies and associations, and frontline healthcare workers, patients, and consumers of healthcare to commit to action. I hadn't intended to end with a quotation, but having heard uh, Carolyn quoting Yogi Berra, as a Brit, I have some knowledge of his quotations. I believe he went from uh, being a player of baseball to an umpire, and um, I'm doing this from memory, so forgive me if I get it wrong, but it seems particularly apt. And in his uh, capacity as an umpire and reflecting on the role, he once said, when I'm right, no one remembers. When I'm wrong, no one forgets. And I think that's also, from the same person, a particularly apt quotation to our challenge today, our launch today. We want to make surgical procedures around the world something that patients and surgeons quickly forget because they have gone right 
rather than wrong. Thank you.